Rob Gibson already on the grid. He's opted out of the parade lap. He'd be starting from row three. And Will Gollop makes his way onto pole position to be joined on that front row by Palmer, who's pushed him so close during the course of this season's British Championship. So this is the climax for an enormous crowd at Brands Hatch, the final of the Autoglass British Grand Prix, and Murray Walker takes us through the field. So, Will Gollop's Turbo Metro and Steve Palmer's Atmospheric Metro on the front row, ahead of Pat Duran's Ford RS200 and Barry Squibb's Escort Turbo. Row three, Rob Gibson's three-litre Metro and Rantanen's Turbo Ford. Silver Neunen and Carnegie next up, with Trevor Hopkins and Ole Arneson making it 10. And in pole position, Will Gollop's body language says he means to take his third Grand Prix win. It's action! Into Paddock. It's a fantastic start by Will Gollop. Pat Duran second, Palmer down to third, and Duran's bodywork is flapping. In car with Will Gollop. It's a clear track ahead. It's foot hard down. Through the S's, Gollop leads, Duran second, Palmer third, Gibson four, and Squibb hits Phil Silvernoyden who goes off. In car again with Gollop, and that rebuilt Metro is the car to beat. Those 600 man hours were well spent through Langley's. And Pat Duran is really trying, with Palmer and Gibson right behind him. So Gollop leads into Hoppies. Duran second, Palmer third, Gibson fourth. Will Gollop exits Hoppy's drop to rejoin the tarmac. Winstable will is go, and he's looking unbeatable into the chicane. But it's close for second. Duran, Palmer, Gibson, and Squibb is closing. Out of the chicane. Gibson closing up on Palmer, he's going through. Palmer slides wide. And Squibb on the left moves up into fourth position. And number 11, Steve Palmer, is struggling. Gollop. Look at it. Look at the concentration. Out of Druids. Into the knife age again. Pat Duran is superb second in only his second season of rally cross. Gibson is third. Squibb fourth. Palmer fifth. Number 28. Dermot Carnegie is in the sixth place. Into Hoppies. And out of it. Squibb is fourth in the ex Martin Shanker escort. And Steve Palmer. There he is. He's fighting back. This is the battle for four, and Barry Squibb, the 40-year-old hotelier from Torquay, has got it, number 16. Now tumble downhill. This is where it gets very slippery indeed. Into the S's, up Halewood Hill, back onto the tarmac, and it's flat out, break hard for Druids. And at Druids, it's an effortless-looking Will Gollop up front with three laps to go. In car with Will, across the knife edge. But no one has won the British Grand Prix three times. Look at number 15, Rob Gibson in the yellow Metro. He's right up with Duran. Into Hop is drop, Gollop leads. Duran second, Gibson third. Metro, Ford, Metro. Onto the chicane, in car, with Will Gollop. And they're catching him, look. Duran, and behind him, Gibson. And Gibson is almost off the ground as he goes into Paddock. It's contact. He's opened up Duran's engine cover. Through the S's. Bang, he's done it again. Up to Druids. They're together. Will is in trouble. Will is in. Gollop is in trouble. Duran goes through. Gibson goes past. Left rear puncture. That's it. Through Langley's. And they're all over Gollop. There's Gollop. Squib right behind him. Squib goes past. Palmer goes past. That's Trevor Hopkins going off. My goodness, it's all happening here. And a frustrated Will Gollop is not going to win his third British Grand Prix. Oh, poor Will. So, is, is Pat Duran going to win his first British Grand Prix? Gibson's car, number 15, it's shattered. And this is the last lap. Surely nothing can stop Duran now. But Rob Gibson there from Boostery in Yorkshire, he's certainly trying. He's trying hard. He's trying too hard. Look. Off onto the grass, onto the tarmac. Into Druids. It's a fantastic drive by Pat Duran. Impressive all the year in Britain 
and Europe. Now he's going to win Rally Cross's only Grand Prix, and he does. Gibson second, Squibb third, Palmer in fourth place, and an overjoyed Pat Duran can hardly believe it's true. Well, number 15, Rob Gibson may have finished, but only just. And a dejected Will Gollop, defeated by that puncture, can only think of what might have been. And here's how the lead changed at Druids. Gollop, first of all, hit by Duran, then by Gibson. And Gibson's car absolutely shattered. Now, here's a replay from Gollop's point of view. Into Druids, there goes Duran. There goes Gibson, it's Biff, bang, and through. And Gollop is out. But Pat Duran, the winner, carries Rob Gibson home, and British drivers finish first, second, third, and fourth for the first time in the Grand Prix's 10-year history. Because it's Pat Duran first in his RS200, Rob Gibson second in his Metro, Barry Squibb third in his Turbo Escort, and Steve Palmer fourth in his Metro. Great driving and a great meeting.